Hello everyone, welcome back to Coder Arts. This is my second video on the Rasa. In my previous video, I introduced you to Rasa by discussing what it is, how it works, and what can you build with Rasa. And finally, we talk about its features. So now in this video, I will show you how to install it on the Windows 10 system. So without wasting time, let's start. To install Rasa, I will use Anaconda tools. Therefore, you need to first install Anaconda. You can download it anaconda.com slash download by simply clicking on the download button. Apart from this, you need to install UJSON and TensorFlow. To run TensorFlow on Windows, you need to install Visual C++ separately on your system. Just type Visual C++ download in the Google search bar. Click on the first link. And since I have a 64-bit system, so I downloaded the 64-bit version. You can download according to your system requirements. So in my system, uh, Anaconda and Visual C++ are already installed. After installing C++, you can run able to TensorFlow code. If it is not installed on your system, you have to install it first. Now to install Rasa, let's open the command prompt. Set a path where we want to build our chart board. Now let's create a new Kunda environment. Kunda create dash dash name your environment. In my case, rasa underscore environment. Space python equals to equals to 3.7.6. Here I specify the python version as 3.7.6. and say yes. Now we can activate the Kunda environment using this command. Kunda activate environment rasa underscore environment. Here you can see that our environment has changed and now we are in the rasa environment. Now we have to do two things. First is install UJSON, which is ultra JSON. To install UJSON, just type conda install UJSON. This will help with more dependencies that we need to install. Now we need to install TensorFlow. Just type pip install TensorFlow. and enter. It will take some time. You can see here when I initialize the Rasa, it's raised the error. We need to install Rasa first. Pip install Rasa.
it will take some time. After installing all the necessary packages, let's try to initialize the new board. Now our model has finished training and we can interact with it. Let's say S. Now you can start talking with the boat. I type hi. The boat respond with hi, how are you? I type bye. Now let's stop it.
So that's it for today. In this video, we covered the installation process of Rasa on Windows 10. Using Anaconda tool and setting up the necessary dependencies like UJSON and TensorFlow, we discussed creating a new Conda environment, activating it, and installing the required packages. And finally, we initialize a new bot completed with the training and demonstrate a basic interaction with the chatbot. We hope you found this tutorial help in getting started with Rasa on Windows. If you have any questions or face any challenges during the installation process, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more informative content on Coder Arts. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you are looking to develop your AI and machine learning skills, Coder Arts is the place to be. We are here to help you overcome any obstacle and achieve your professional goals. Whether you are struggling with assignments, need guidance on coursework, or want to develop MVPs and POCs, Coder Arts is your one-stop solution. Get hands-on experience through our live project training and join the exciting world of AI and machine learning.